Since it's Friday from the week, oh, it's a Friday from like, uh, Saturday, Saturday, and Sunday too? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we go every day. See, you're not dropping under the ball. Under. Good. Good. So feel that difference? Yeah. See, here's what you were doing before. You were getting right here as you were executing a stroke. Right as you were hitting it, you were not dropping and, and being totally relaxed, dropping under the ball, then rolling over it. There. And see, that's top spin. I want you to do both top spin and under spin. Very good. Now you're doing it. Feel that difference? Yeah. That's huge. Not a little bit. Huge. Much better. Much better. Look at the ball. Center of string. I don't know. And let me hear that ball compress. What the heck? Ooh, that was it. Now you gotta pronate, open up that racket face. See, because with this grip, the continental grip, the racket face is slightly tilted. All right, 300 balls down. There's our next 150. So working on a lot of backhand, just trying to make, hit in the center of the strings and make it happen. Hope you guys are having as nice a day as, as we are. Ellie, you'll appreciate this. We're doing this drill in honor of you. That wasn't bad. You helped the last one, but the stroke was sure nice. And congratulations. I heard you won at the El Conquistador. Uh, I remember winning uh, a couple of big tournaments at the El Conquistador, and boy, was it. It's heaven there. That's one of the most beautiful facilities, so congratulations. And uh, can't wait to see you here on the 6th. All right, so now he's got a feel for his one-handed again. And he actually has beautiful stroke on his two hands. It's amazing how all of a sudden you take one hand off and a lot of these, uh, a lot of players, a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of them can't hit a one-handed all of a sudden. They, they tighten up and, and um, it's just not comfortable. So. Uh, this is a hard drill too to actually drop hit and hit two-handed backhand So if you've never done this drill before a lot of people struggle with this. They can't do it <laughs> So but I can't tell you of a better drill that you can do to get yourself uh, If you're just hitting by yourself, you don't have anything to do You go put out some targets and then just aim at the targets and see if you can hit the ball to 45 hit it in the center of strings be able to hit flat balls, be able to hit loopy balls, lots of spin, no spin, and use underspin too. So a lot of different drills that you can do drop hit. Okay, so we're 150 balls down. So now we're, we're gonna go with another 150. So these, these now I want you to move three across. Start at the center mark. I want you to hit so you'll only be able to have one ball in your hand each time. So put those others in your pocket. So you'll go two-handed, two-handed, one-handed. Okay. Good, now move across. Slightly too far out in front of the point of contact. That was better, now one-handed. Good, now get comfortable with it. Because you're not comfortable and you're a little off balance. 
By the way, this is harder than it looks because look at the footwork too. See, the leverage position is very important. When we were playing, that uh, uh, right leg would be moving parallel along the baseline. Now it's open more so you can use your hips and use centrifugal force better. It only makes sense, but <laughs> it's just not a natural, natural movement. It is if you start somebody right off the bat with it. Now, let's do that again. Now, there was nothing wrong with that except that you toss the ball a quarter of an inch too far out in front of you. I mean, it's that accurate. Okay. See, and that was a little too far out in front too. Yeah. That was perfect except you took your eye off the ball. You were thinking about it. That's what we call the yips.